Well, finally hit clay in the middle of the middle of the middle part that I'm working on. And I'm uh, from the top of the clay to right over there where the, say the hay bales hit the soil. It's almost 24 inches. But I only did <sighs> 10 foot piece maybe. If I got to borrow a drag blade from somebody if I expect to get anything else done. Because I'm not going to attempt it with the wheelbarrow and the shovel. That's not an option. I got to load up the trailer with the tin from the roof, move some pallets, move the cooler parts, and start on the other side. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. Got to get her done. You get the final before and after shot of having the culvert in place. That comes from the other side of the road, little valley over there. And uh, have a half an inch of rain real quick, so it washed out that culvert there a bit. Not all the way, but a whole lot of it. And this is where my culvert's gonna go into this hole. 20 foot long, 15 inch diameter with the, about a three foot gap up in front there. And I'm gonna have to put a tape on there because it appears to be about two foot longer. So it may not be 20 foot, it might be a little bit longer because it comes past my stick that I measured out. Either way, come down here, out that way. Maybe. I'll put the other 20 foot culvert in from about here, the edge of the old fence part, and across from this old fence post here, and down that way towards that black walnut tree. So I'm going to cross there with a tractor and across here with a tractor. And should give me enough room to turn without going in the exposed part of the drainage ditch. That's how it looks on paper right now. So you can see I'm plenty high on the right side. Well, maybe you can't. I'm about a foot and a half higher on the right than I am on the left. But everything I clean out of the barn will be going in on top of the culvert. Then just need to take care of a water system on the north side of the barn to catch the rainwater. And modify something at the bottom or on the road so no water comes underneath the wall. Getting close. Still lots to do. Love it here. Living in paradise. Living in paradise. See ya. The culvert is in place. And it ended up to be three inches longer than 20 foot. But when it was sitting next to the hole, it looked like it was about a foot and a half, two foot longer. Get a bit of an angle here. Some parts on the other side of the culvert, uh, the ground level is higher. Almost all but six inches is low over here. So, well, like I said, everything from the floor of the barn, all the manure and hay and everything from over the years has made some... Uh, cement quality soil 
As long as it stays damp, it can grow weeds most excellently. But if it dries out, you need a hammer to break it up. And it will be enough. To get that in. Next project over here is digging that out for the other culvert to go in there. Bring over some old blocks and make somewhat of a retaining wall. So the water shoots out of here. You can follow the retaining wall down to there where it'll go into the other pipe. Also, it's like a retaining wall made out of old blocks about two courses high. Um, that make me for some real good rooms. I got 17 feet, 18 feet between the edge of the barn and where my uh, where the blocks would be to keep the water inside there. That will work fine. what well, Saturday here now so Monday afternoon I'll drop some more hay because then I'll know about the rain on Tuesday they got it down to uh, like three one hundredths of an inch so maybe I'll drop some hay on Monday and my Thursday and Friday be bailing it up good stuff I just got to figure out a way to stack these hay bales in here to round bales. Probably end up asking my awesome neighbors. And I'll recalculate how many square footage I got in here and how many bales I can get in here. And I'll have that number of bales piled up over here so I can use their tractor to bale it. Or if they've got a few minutes, they can come down and stack them for me. Either way, if they do it, they'll go a whole lot faster. If I do it, it'll get done just a whole lot slower. Because I'm Captain Slow Motion. Okay, see you. Turn off, please. Well, I've been switching after taking breaks. Working on a shovel. Put some uh, put some utility bricks down here between the culverts and uh, taper in the sides back so don't get a little slip or landslide in there to plug up the culvert. From that to loading tin on the trailer to attempting to move more soil with the ripper teeth on the box blade. I'm drinking water and eating animal crackers. Digging out the boards from where the roof was repaired here. All in the weeds and the mud and the dirt. So I got another pile over there, pile of tin over there. It's coming along. Just trying to find a slower gear that isn't totally stopped. See ya. Well, got a lot more done. Went another foot of soil over top of the culvert. Got some old uh, utility block, utility brick in there. Hope that'll help the sediment and stuff coming from across the road. Um, kind of get it through didn't quite get my two foot in there because the floor of the valley here is too low But I gotta measure out 
to put one here or continue with this one. I don't know if I should continue off of there or start here and go that way. I'm pretty sure it's going to be start here and go that way. I got two foot of soil here on the back side to get. About six inches here in the front. About a foot and a half, except for that corner there. Foot and a half to get over here. Gonna obviously keep this side, the north side, by the road higher and then the bottom side for the valley, moisture, rain, everything. Well, I'm done for the day. Well, I'm not. I have to finish loading the trailer. I think there's about 20 pieces left on there to get. And then, I'll put three round bales on that. Well, I've got to unload the trailer. Put three round bales on the trailer. So I'm ready to go tomorrow. Oh boy, it's been a long day. See ya.